Hi, this is your BNB specialist and today I'm going to talk about how to claim damage done by a guest. Unfortunately, it happens sometimes the guest may damage something and they do not even tell you and you may find out the damage done by them after they have left. There are a few key things and the internet is full of complaints where hosts have not been able to claim the damages done by the guest. They are missing few essential items which Airbnb expects you every time there is a damage. If you follow these rules, you are guaranteed you will get a reasonable damage claim from Airbnb. Just follow my advice. So the first thing is, as soon as you find the damage, report it to Airbnb. Try and claim, start your claim within a couple of hours, not more than that after the guest checkout. So let's say if your checkout is at 11 a.m., try to report the damage by 2 p.m. Now, most people do not raise a claim straight away because they do not know what is the estimate of repair. Airbnb does not expect you to provide an exact estimate at the time of claim. Just start. Starting is the key point. The, the factor, the key factor here is the time, how quickly you start the claim. Just fill up the information you have at that moment. Try and take as many photos you can. People try and take videos as well. You can keep the videos, but for your own reference on Airbnb, claim procedure there is no place you can upload a video but still keep it with you try and take some videos but try and take as many photos as you can the biggest mistake people do is if there is let's say if there's a stain on the carpet they take one photo of the stain on the carpet and then upload it on airbnb no you want a complete picture of where that stain is if it is in the living room try and take the picture of the living room from a distance from different angles Give sufficient information to Airbnb so that they can establish this was a definitely a damage done to your property by the guest. That's one thing. Take photos as many as you can. Start the claim as soon as possible. Even if it is, you know, just start something. Raise, raise a claim of $100 to begin with. Airbnb knows and it is written in, in the terms and policies for the claim procedure. You can start a claim for $100 and if you can go up to whatever the real image, uh, real amount is, they will give you an opportunity to go back and update that amount and add more details like estimates from tradesmen and all of the details. So key factor is the time and take as many photos as you can up. Be quick. Do not wait. Start a claim process and Airbnb will listen to you. Uh, so the first thing that happens is when you submit a claim, it goes to the guest, whether they accept it or not. In most of the circumstances, guests do not accept uh, the charge. Eventually, after 72 hours, you can send it for Airbnb review. They will start looking at the, at the case. Someone will get in touch with you two or three days later, asking you to provide an invoice. Now, the last thing is, when you get an invoice from someone, make sure it is signed. It is hugely important. Ask the person to sign it. I know nowadays it's it's not very common. No one, you know, if, if you had to purchase a mattress, who's going to sign it? Try and get the delivery van, delivery person to sign it. Ask them to sign the receipt, okay, and the date. And I usually write, you know, paid with thanks. I, I ask them to write uh, paid with thanks, signature of the person and the date when it was done extremely important so three steps one is take as many photos as you can to prove your claim second is timing start the claim process as soon as you can and the third is when you finally have the full estimates of the cost of the repair upload an invoice with the signature and the date uh, of the person and uh, when it was repaired I'm pretty sure it has worked always for me. And I'm pretty sure if you follow these steps, it will work for you as well. Try and be reasonable. Do not try and overcharge because eventually someone is going to pay for this. They do not want to overpay for something which wasn't done. Good luck. I hope you enjoyed my videos. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. This will encourage me to make more such videos. Good luck.